Hey everybody, today we're going to be making a birthday card and we're going to be using the Stampin' Up! set called Sweet Cupcake. I also have some Stampin' Up! ink, some cardstock, and a little banner die. I'm also going to use the Gorgeous Grunge stamp set, but that's completely optional. So let's get our supplies and let's start. So for the cupcake stamp set, I'm just going to be using the cupcakes, the cupcake wrapper, the candle, and a sentiment from that, the happy birthday one. And I have two ink colors here. These are both really old and retired. They are Yo-Yo Yellow and Summer Sun. So to start, I'm going to be using the base layer of the stamp set. There's three parts to this stamp. And for the first layer, I'm stamping with Yo-Yo Yellow and I'm gonna stamp off and so I can get a nice light shade. And for the second stamp, I'm gonna be doing just the full strength of the Yo-Yo Yellow. And then I have Summer Sun and I'm going to be using the third stamp and that is the darkest one for the shadows. I actually bought that stamp pad way back when it retired and I just opened it um, yesterday when I did this video and it stamps perfectly. The ink is great so yay stampin' up. Okay so now I have my frosting and this is a little up close look at it and those inks will level out and sink into the paper. For the cupcake wrapper I'm using Pool Party, Mint Macaron, and Smoky Slate. So for the base of this, the part one stamp, which I think is actually part three because they want you to do darkest to lightest, but I like to do lightest to darkest. And I'm doing Mint Macaron. And my Mint Macaron has a lot of ink in it. Um, I've even tried stamping off some of that onto cardstock and watercolor paper, but there's just a lot. So it actually levels out really well though and it sinks in nicely. And you won't be seeing any of those blotches later. And now I have Pool Party for the second part of the stamp. And our last color is Smoky Slate and that will be the darkest shadow. And these are pretty easy to line up. You of course could use any kind of Misty or Stamp Perfect or even a stamp a jig So I'm just going to hand cut these because I don't have the dies and I also want them to be really close. So I've just used a little bit of my multimedia matte glue to glue this together. Then we're just going to set that aside and stamp the inside of our card. So I'm using the Yo-Yo Yellow ink again and that little candle. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment with Smoky Slate. And those two colors coordinate really nicely. Next up, we're going to be doing our card front, and I have this little banner die here. I actually bought that from an app off my phone called Wish. It was only like 99 cents. And if you have a little bit of patience, you just a couple weeks later, you will have your die in the mail, hopefully. So far, I've ordered quite a few things, and I haven't um, not received any of those items yet. So here, I'm just using the Gorgeous Grunge stamp set to stamp with Yo-Yo Yellow ink. I'm doing first and second generation stamping. And next up, I'm going to arrange these little banner dies just across the page, kind of um, at a diagonal so it looks like they're flowing down the card front. And when I get them where I want them, I'm going to be using my Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Glue. And I'm just going to be using a little dab of glue on each of the banners. And you just go ahead and put them exactly where you want them. And I'm going to go ahead and glue down the last two and we will be right back. So up next we're going to attach this to our card base and that measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches when it's folded. So to start out I'm just going to be using some of that same glue. Just going to run it around all the four sides. And it does tend to glob out of the bottle when you first squeeze it out. So I keep this little high tech tool by to smooth the glue out. And next up, you want to just place that right on your card front. Go ahead and get it nice and even and press it down. And when you have that finished, just go ahead and flip the card over and snip off all the little edges of the banner. And those little scissors I have, those are the EK Success Honeybee Cutter Bee scissors. And I've had those since I started making cards, like, oh my gosh, maybe 2008 or something. And they are still as sharp as ever. I'm sure a lot of you have those scissors and love them as much as I do. So when you have that all finished, just get out your foam tape and cut a couple little pieces and stick them on the back of your little cupcake there. And just peel off the backing really quick. 
And then I'm going to stick my cupcake right in the bottom right corner. Then you just want to give that a little press as soon as you have it right where you want it. And that is the card front. So we got to do the inside really quick. We have our little panel that we already stamped and I'm just going to use my ATG gun to run some tape on the top and the bottom. And when you have that, just go ahead and line this up on the inside. Just get it nice and even. So there we have our finished card. I think this is really cute. It's so bright and cheerful. Here's a little up close look at it. And I think this card could be given to a man or a woman or to a kid. It's just really happy and what a fun way to say happy birthday. I also made a really pretty pink one. This is very girly and feminine. I may have some Wink Estella on the cupcake there. The colors I used were Pink Pirouette, Flirty Flamingo, and Watermelon Wonder. Those are all from Stampin' Up! And on the inside I have a coordinating candle. And of course you have to have a coordinating envelope to go with it. Just got a little pink candle on there. I think that is such a fun set. And here's the yellow one I did. This would be great to do like a bunch of them, maybe like four or five in all different colors. And hey, I said, I can't believe I forgot to put Wixel on this cupcake. Let's just do that real quick. So pretty. And nice and sparkly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this card tutorial and it gave you some inspiration or some ideas on how to use this sweet cupcake stamp set. So with that said, I hope you all are having a wonderful week and I will see you later with another card tutorial. Bye!